everyone and welcome to my channel today we're going to talk about how to perform aligned rank transform ANOVA before we continue kindly subscribe to my channel like click on the notification bell to get instant notification once I upload new videos for support you can reach me out through the comment section thank you what is Aligned Rank Transform ANOVA? The Aligned Rank Transform ANOVA is a non-parametric statistical method that extends the ANOVA framework to handle ordinal or non-nominal data. It aligns and ranks data for each main effect and interaction allowing factorial designs to be analyzed without assuming normality or equal variance. So what are the assumptions of at ANOVA? 1. The data is nominal or continuous but violates parametric assumptions. 2. The data includes one or more categorical independent variable called factors. 3. The dependent variable has no strict requirements for normality or homogeneity of variance for the independence of observations within groups so when do we use at ANOVA so the at ANOVA is suitable when the dependent variable is ordinal for example a Likert scale data let's say um, a researcher goes out to distribute questionnaires containing Likert scale data and at the end of the day, he wished to analyze how school types, public or private, and school location, urban or rural, or rural affect Likert scale response on the impact of blended learning. So, um, for this case, the assumption of parametric ANOVA, which is normality and homogeneity of variance, are violated and we want to analyze the interaction effects in a factorial design. All right, so other than at ANOVA, there are other parametric tests we could use. We have the Kruskawalis tests for single design with no interaction. We have the Mann-Whitney U test for comparing two independent groups. We also have the Fredman test for repeated measures within subject designs. We also have ordinal logistic regression for modeling relationships with ordinal data. But then again, why at ANOVA is best? It is best because it allows for testing both main effects and interaction effects in a non-parametric framework, making it ideal for factorial designs. So steps to perform at ANOVA. So, First, we align and rank the data for each main effect and interaction term using software like R. Then two, after that, we run a standard ANOVA on the transformed data. And three, we analyze the main effect and interaction effect for the ANOVA output. And finally, we interpret the result. So quickly, let's go to R and see how we can run this. So in R, I already have my code. So do well to install the R tools in your R studio. Also install the DP, the deplier. Also install the E means and finally the G plot. This is optional if you want to visu visualize. The data installation is successful. You load them into your R studio. So quickly, let us go to um how to import our data so let us import our data into r using um this function read.csd choose the files header equal to two th true so control enter so let us go and so okay here here we have it so sometimes it wouldn't pop up until you minimize your r so our data is saved as school like it data okay so let's 
OK this and go back to our R. So you see that it, the data is loaded successfully into R with 200 observations, three variables. All right, so now the next one is to convert the categorical variables to factors using um, this function as.factor um, data dollar sign um, the first variable which is school underscore type. All right, so then we do the same thing for the second one. So let's control enter this, control enter this. So just know that this is crucial because ANOVA requires categorical variables to be treated as, treated as factors. So this is why we are doing this, okay? So now let us verify the structure of the data. These are the structure of the data. So we have the school type under here, under the console, we have the school underscore type. So the fa they are factors now. And they are factors of two levels, private and public. Likewise, school location, they are factors and also factors of two levels, rural and urban. So these are the likened uh, response. So, so this is the structure of our data. All right. So now let us quickly go and perform the aligned rank transform. Okay. So we are going to transform our data now so that we can now apply ANOVA. And we are using here the function at. All right, so this this is um see this is simply an R two, you know we installed and loaded R at uh, two there initially, so this aligns the ranks data to be handled in a number metric way by ANOVA using ANOVA. Okay, so basically we are using this function here to transform our data, so we are having. Uh, the Lankens, we're having the Lankent response here and the independent variables here, which are the school types uh, times the school location. The data is obtained from our data, which is what we saved the data initially. So after doing this, we would quickly, we would um, click Ctrl Enter here. And you see that it is here, it is uh, it's loaded in R already. So we have a list of 10. And now we can now check the at and over results. All right, so here we are having our results here. So this is our result. So analysis of variance of aligned rank transformed data. We are having ANOVA table of type 3, so model, no repeated measures, and the response, we are having like, like at response. Okay, so let us quickly interpret this data. So for under school type, we are having a p-value of, um, this is the p-value here, which is less than 0 0.05. So it is indicating a statistical significant main effect of school type on like and transport. All right, so that's what we're having here. Now let's go to the, uh, uh, okay, before we go there, just know that this means that the different school types, which is which are the private and the public, have significantly different like and response. So it is significant from here. So now let's go to the school location. For the school location, we are having a p-value of 0 0.029689. And this is greater than 0 0.05. Okay, so of course, this means that the location, rural and urban, does not have statistical significant effect on Lycan's response. So now let us go to their interaction effects here. You would see that the p value here for the interaction effect is 0 0.35696. This is greater than 0 0.05. And it is suggesting that there is no significant interaction between school type and school location. So the interaction, there is no significant effect. So this means that the effect of the school type on like and respond is not influenced by school location. So basically, this is the interpretation for this ANOVA table here. So now let us look at how to compute the uh, uh, post hoc um, or their their contrast these interactions okay so we are going to run a post a post hoc analysis here so this which is our step five 
okay so now we all right so the next thing we are going to look at is how to compute for the post hoc test so the post hoc test here um we are going to talk about their interaction con construct contracts rather okay so the interaction contracts for both the school type and school location okay so we are going to use the function here at dot com all right so this calculates the contracts for the interaction term for both school type and uh, location all right so just to just to add that the post hoc analysis helps to identify where significant differences exist exists okay so to do this i would going to enter this and summarize okay so it is loaded here in r so now i will just do the summary of that all right so this is what we are having here so let us let us this is what we have let us quickly do an interpretation of this result so here you would see that we're having a con construct contrast we're having estimate we're having standard error we're having the degree of freedom we're having the t ratio and we're having finally the p value so let's let me just quickly explain this so the contrast simply means the comparison between the pairs of group so for this you would see private rural compared to private urban private rural compared to public rural private rural compared Co compared to public urban private urban compared to public rural private urban compared to public urban and public rural compared to public urban so this is simply the interaction okay so that is for con construct then the other one estimate talks about the difference in means between the two groups the difference so this one talks about for every for this one minus 12.96 for every increase in units we have a decrease all right so basically that is what this one is talking about so we talk about the standard error the standard error simply is the uncertainty of the um estimate then we go to the degree of freedom the t ratios talking about the, t, the test statistics okay and our major concern here is the p value all right so this indicates whether the difference is statistically significant so this is where we are going to be paying more attention to all right so now let's look at their contrast okay so for rural for private rural and private urban we are having uh um 0 0.5405 so it is not significant for private rural and public rural we're having less than so for from from here down to this place you see that they are all less than 0 0.05 so they are all significant okay so you can see they are significant and but then the 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 two items here that are different are just public rural against private urban and public rural and um, public urban so you see that the the both school types are both not significant in terms of their location okay so we can we can further look at some key insights of what this uh, result is telling us so you would observe from here that the, for private schools both rural and urban they are they significantly differ from public schools both rural and what urban in terms of uh, the like it response so you can see generally also from this result that um there is no significant difference between a uh, same school type like we're having private private public public right so there's no significant difference there also uh, we can okay from their main um, main interaction main effect rather and as well their interaction we can deduce from the result we have got in that school type significantly influence like it response school location does not significantly influence like and response so we can see that from the main interaction here this influence this does not this is significantly this does not significantly influence also their interaction from here too also shows that there is no uh, significant inter interaction between school type and um, location all right so basically that is the interpretation of this our results so what is the practical implication of this result so the practical implication is that um, the significant effect of school type suggests that educational strategies 
or quality between private and public schools could be driving these differences while location has less impact okay so you know in a country where private schools um require the a, a, a higher standard to be able to pull in more students into their 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 schools you see um, them bringing much more higher educational strategies and qualities to help to better this okay so that is why you are seeing some um, a case like this in this our study all right so now having done this we can actually visualize this data here to see how it will look like when we plot a graph on the, of it so for this you load your your ggplot if you have not done that so if you have done that there's no need for that we just plot the the graph so this is the graph here we're having the response we're having for private and we're having for public school type all right so um from the key here you see that the this color here is for rural and this other color here is for urban so private we're having rural and urban public we're having rural and uh urban so let us look at this so this is uh the mean uh like it response is higher for private all right it's higher for private urban schools compared to uh public urban schools so you can see them you can see them here so however the difference is not statistically significant based on our post hoc uh, test so we have private urban compared to private rural okay com okay okay we have the private urban compared to private okay it is not stat statistically significant when you look at the distance between this and this so it's not statistically significant as well as public urban and public rural so you see they are not stat statistically significant but school type here school type now let's look the school type here is you see that there is a significant um, difference here of in school type from um from our interaction uh, from my interaction you see that uh, for the uh, between school type uh, for uh, school type here there is statistical significance so for private and public there is a statistical significance so let's go and check that all right so school type there is a statistical significance here is statistically significant so that is why you see the great margin between this and this okay so basically that is what our, our diagram is showing and um which other thing do we look at which other thing do we look at okay i think that is all for now so if you have any other question further questions you can you can drop it in the comment section i'll do well to reply thank you very much